Welcome, in this video we are going to discuss Spring Boot Cross Origin Resource Sharing, or course, and the different possibilities of configuration in Spring Boot 3. If you want more info on Cross Origin Resource Sharing, surf to the Developer Mozilla website. On this website you will find everything about cross-origin resource sharing. Back in Eclipse, we can show a first example of cross-origin resource sharing. We have started a new project that we will briefly go over. In the Maven Palm XML file, we are using the latest version of Spring Boot. 3.0.5 Furthermore, we have Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Boot Starter Time Leaf. In the Application Properties file, we have Server Port 8080. Furthermore, we have two controller classes Home Controller and Course Controller. In the Home Controller, we have the Annotation Controller and one method Home, which returns the index HTML file. The course controller is a REST controller and the method cores this returns a string. Spring Boot Course The last file is the index.html file. Here we have a short JavaScript function. Here we use the fetch IPA to fetch the text from the course endpoint, convert it to text and make it visible in the HTML. Pay special attention to HTTP localhost 8080 course. We can now start the project and see in a browser what happens. We can now view the result in a browser. First we open localhost 8080, we get the expected result. The title Spring Boot Tutorial and the text Spring Boot Course. If we open 127.0.0.1880 we get a different result. The text Spring Boot Course is not showing and in the console we get a course policy error message. This is because localhost and 127.0.0.1 open the same page but are a different domain. We will now open a second example with an external controller. We're back in Eclipse for a second example. We started a second project with the following classes. The Maven Palm XML file uses the latest version of Spring Boot 3.0.5 again. And further the Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. In the Application Properties file we have Server Port 9000. And finally the REST Controller Cores Controller with one method cores. This returns Spring Boot Cores from HTTP localhost 9000. In the first project, we modified the index.html file a bit. In the JavaScript function, we have a second fetch that loads the endpoint localhost 9000, converts it to text, and let it seen on the screen. We have started both the projects and are now watching the results. If we open localhost 8080, we get only the first text. For the second text, we get a cores error this time because the ports are not the same. If we open 127.0.0.1880 we get neither of the two texts, and we get back the error from the first example. We can now go to Eclipse to modify the configuration so that everything works fine. We are now back in Eclipse to propose a solution. The first class is the course config class in the first project. We have the configuration annotation and the bean annotation above the WebMVC configurer method. This overrides the addCores mappings method. This is where we can configure everything. In this example, we keep it simple and only have the add mapping, cores, allowed origins, 127.0.0.1880. And allowed methods. Get. In the course config class in the second project, we have roughly the same configuration. Add mapping. Course. Allowed origins. 
127.0.0.18080 and localhost 8080. And allowed methods. Get. We can now start both projects and look at the result in our browser. In our browser we first open localhost 8080. This time we see the text of both endpoints. Then we open 127.0.0.18080. Again we see both texts of the endpoints. This is the end of this video. In the next video we will extend the cross-origin resource sharing configuration with Spring Security. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.